Meat Loaf, whose real name was Michael Leaday, was known for his best-selling album, Bat Out of Hell, and for acting in films including The Rocky Horror Picture Show and Fight Club. Meat Loaf was born Marvin Leaday in 1947 in Dallas. He later changed his first name to Michael. His entertainment career began when he moved to Los Angeles in 1967, where he started a band called Meat Loaf Soul. He sold more than 100 million albums worldwide. He landed a part in the musical, Hair, eventually making it to Broadway in 1973. Meat Loaf was later cast in The Rocky Horror Picture Show, playing Eddie and Dr. Everett Scott. In 1977, he released his album, Bat Out of Hell, to enormous success. He married Leslie Edmonds in 1978 and divorced in 2001. In 2007, he married Deborah Gillespie. The rock star was known to have asthma. In January 2022, the singer and actor Meat Loaf died at the age of 74. Meat Loaf and his wife Deborah Gillespie lived in a Mediterranean-style house in Calabasas, California, that was decorated by David Dalton. In this video, we talk a an inside look at legendary musician Southern California residents. You don't see a wall of records in this house. The records and everything are in the garage. The only evidence of my career is a Grammy on a mantle. Meat Loaf mentioned during an interview. Meal Loaf and family used the house to entertain at Christmas, Thanksgiving, Super Bowl Sunday, and since he was a member of the Academy, they held movie parties too at this house. For the traditional dining room, the designer designed a 12-foot-long walnut table and a set of wing chairs. For the outdoor living area, it is designed with an eclectic, luxurious feeling with a mix of Indonesian and Moroccan antiques. Meatloaf was an avid collector of sports memorabilia, and he created areas to display the collection. Among the musicians' prized pieces are jerseys worn by Jim Kelly, who also gave him the helmet, Bernie Kosar, and Dan Marino. The family room is really the room they lived in. The family room had layered patterns and colors to warm up and cozy up a space that was like a big vanilla box. Baker side tables and dining table foreground dominated the space. Wall covering was from Schumacher. Softer tones dominated the master bedroom, which had a painting by Jean Laporte. The room had a cout and end tout silk stripe and headboard fabric with the Philip Jeffries wall covering. What part of this legendary house did you like? Leave your comment in the comment section and give this video a like. Support our channel by subscribing for more of such amazing house stories and iconic property design ideas.